25 years ago, after I graduated from technical school, I worked for an oil company for about three months, and I was laid off from my job as an engineering technologist. So I decided I was going to start my own graphic design company. My business card said freelance graphic designer and photographer and t-shirt maker <laughs> and sign maker and part-time aerobics instructor too. A friend of mine who owned a printing company came to me one day with this idea to start a new company to make recall cards for Canadian dentists so they wouldn't have to import them from the United States. Right. Imagine having to design a card that would make people want to go to the dentist. <laughs> right. We're keeping a nice comfy chair ready just for you and your root canal. So of course I said yes. <laughs> uh, we would set up a partnership. I would do the design work and he could do the printing. So we each went to work for the next two weeks and we produced our very first set of cards. And then we watched the cards sit on a shelf collecting dust at the back of the warehouse for the next year as each of us very, very quickly forgot about this great idea of ours. And we got busy with our other businesses. And you know how that goes, right? I think we've all been in that situation before. But that really bothered me. I mean, this was something that I agreed was a good idea. And with all these great intentions of following through with it, uh, I just kind of gave up on it at all. And I think that what the problem was, was that uh, focusing on all of the challenges and all of the unknowns that, that lay ahead of us, I, I think to me at the time was very, very formidable and faced with all of those unknowns, I instead chose to do the safe, easy thing and that was quit. But my subconscious mind didn't let me forget about this earlier commitment, was busy nagging me constantly about how I had taken the easy route and had just given up. So finally, and I think this was mostly just to appease my subconscious nagging, I decided that I was going to take a weekend and I was going to go into the office and do whatever I needed to do to put together the very best brochure advertising our cards that I could put together in that weekend. And then I would mail it out to a bunch of dentists and if there was a response from that, then that might provide us with the kick in the butt that we needed to get going on this project again. So I did. I went in on Saturday morning early and I uh, used the entire day and I made this brochure and I used my black and white photocopier uh, and I made 500 black and white photocopies. I hand folded every single one of them and stuffed them into 500 envelopes and actually I actually licked 500 stamps and have you ever wondered how it feels to lick 500 stamps? <laughs> And I hand addressed all of them with a list of dentists that I copied out of a whole bunch of phone books. On Monday morning, on my way into the office, I dropped the whole lot off at the post office and I sort of washed my hands of the whole thing in a way. Uh, in my mind, I had at least completed the next step of what we had set out to do. And if nothing else, I'd avoided the temptation to quit, I thought. One week later, I was stunned when I opened my mailbox and it was jammed full of orders. 13 years later, that tiny little card company became Canada's largest supplier of recall cards to the Canadian dental marketplace and the second largest in the United States. And in fact, we were acquired by our largest American competitor who felt threatened by our rapid growth for an amount of money that allowed Helen and I to retire right there on the spot. Thomas Edison said, many of life's failures are people who did not realize how close they were to success when they gave up. Never, ever quit because you'll never know what could have been. I am so glad that I didn't quit. You know, my life today would be completely different if not for that fateful Saturday where I made the decision to go into the office and start the next step on our journey. You know, Goethe says, what you can do or dream you can do, begin it. And I think that what he means is just to go ahead and be bold and start your journey. Just take your first step, whatever that is. Just start the journey. For me, it was just getting some brochures into the mail. You know, I've completed a couple dozen marathons in my life and I actually just finished running uh, my first 80-kilometer ultramarathon. 
And uh, what every marathon runner learns is that when you run a marathon, you never think about the 26.2 miles. What you do is you think about your first mile, and then you think about your next mile. And before you know it, you're looking at the finish line. And I feel like I'm always beginning it. And it doesn't really matter how far I've gone, because the way that I see it is every single step I take, I view as being the very first step in the rest of my marathon journey. Can you think of a recent goal or a challenge or even a dream that you quit? And were you focusing too much on the enormity of reaching your end result, which is your vision, right? Instead of just your next step, what is your next step? And I challenge you to begin it, to go ahead and to go lick some stamps.